पानी चल रही थी छह मार्च उन्नीस सौ सड़सठ The Vani was narrated on March 6, 1967. In the middle of the second page, the topic was going on. The one who is the god of the Gita takes to the golden age. और वो झूठी गीता है एंड दैट वन इज द फॉल्स गीता इसे पढ़ने और सुनने से मनुष्य गोल्डन एज से आयरन एज में आ जाता बाय लिसनिंग एंड रीडिंग विच द ह्यूमन बींग्स गो फ्रॉम द गोल्डन एज टू द आयरन एज हिंदी में कहते हैं भारत का उत्थान तथा पतन It is said in Hindi the rise and the fall of Bharat. Ye Gita ka bhagwan ke upar sara madar hai. Everything depends on the issue of the god of the Gita. Gita ke bhagwan ko na pehchanne ke karan because of not having recognized the god of the Gita. Sakar ka naam dal diya. They inserted the name of the corporeal. The same happens in the confluence age world of the Brahmins. It should be written, the words of the incorporeal god Shiva. Instead of this. They inserted the name of the corporeal Krishna, alias Dadale Kraj Brahma. Previously, it used to be written in the Murlis. Do you remember Shiv Baba? Mama ke shadi chhone ke baad likha jaane laga. Pita Sri Shiv Baba yaad. After Mama had left the body. They started to write. Do you remember Pita Shri Shiv Baba? Pita Shri mana jo Pita baad mein shreshth banne wala hai. Pita Shri means the father who will become elevated later on. Baad mein shreshth to Krishna ki soul banegi. The soul of Krishna becomes elevated later on. Jab nayi duniya banegi. When the new world will be established. Ye to wo to ho. It is because नरसे प्रिंस बनती है जन्म लेकर के वेन ही इज बोर्न ही बिकम्स ए प्रिंस फ्रॉम ए मैन फिर बाद में नारायण बने एंड लेटर ऑन ही बिकम्स नारायण लेकिन जो नरसे डायरेक्ट नारायण बनता है इसी जन्म में पुरुषार्थ करके हाउ एवर द वन हु बिकम्स नारायण डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम ए मैन इन दिस बर्थ थ्रू मेकिंग एफर्ट्स वो अब्बल नंबर इज द नंबर वन उसमें मुकर रूप से शिव का प्रवेश होता है शिवा एंटर्स हिम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द अपॉइंटेड चैरियट इसलिए वो ही गीता का भगवान है दिस इज वाई इट इज ही हु इज द गॉड ऑफ द गीता वो गीता का भगवान दैट गॉड ऑफ द गीता झूठी गीता को सच्ची गीता बनाकर जाता है गर्ल्स अवे हैविंग मेड द फॉल्स गीता इन टू द ट्रू गीता यज्ञ याद में भी Also in the beginning of Yajna Koi jhooti Gita suni jaati thi They used to read the same false Gita aur uske sachche arth sunai jaate and they used to explain its true meaning Wo vaani loko hui Those verses disappeared Kyun ki vaani kahi jaati They are called the verses of the father Baad mein hui Krishna ki Gita ban gayi Later on it became the Gita of Krishna. Gita ka bhagwan Krishna ho gaya. Krishna aur fir Brahma dada lekar aaye. Krishna had become the god of the Gita. Krishna alias Brahma dada lekar aaye. Jin ke mukh se vaani to nikli. From whose mouth the verses did emerge. Lekin wo vaani jnana amrit ka kaam nahi kar sakti. But those verses couldn't work 
as the nectar of knowledge. By drinking which the deities become deities. How did those divine souls become deities? What nectar did they drink? It becomes the nectar when it is churned. The verses which emerged from the mouth of Brahma were not called the nectar of knowledge. Because they were not churned. Because they were not churned. No one understood anything. About what the real truth is. How the new world is made and how the old world is destroyed. How the rise of Bharat takes place, how the fall of Bharat takes place. When the churning of the verses narrated from the mouth of Brahma took place, it was understood. How the rise takes place and how the fall takes place. The rise means the construction. The construction of what? The construction of the deity dynasty. The establishment of 100% peace and prosperity takes place. Through whom? Three persons of Shiva are praised. But only one of the three is the highest. The one whose name is joined with the name of Shiva. They say Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. The name of person of Brahma is not joined with Shiva. The name of the person of Vishnu is not joined with Shiva. It is said Shiva Shankar Bholenath. There is no deity among 330 million deities whose name would be joined with Shiva. There is only one 100% complete effort maker who first becomes Narayan from a man and having become Narayan, he becomes instrumental in the beginning of the new world. That is why it is said, The rise means the construction of the deity dynasty. The rise of what? They say, there was a sunrise. There was a sunset. Where is the memorial of the sunset? It has been constructed in Mount Abu. Sunset point. The sunset point. But actually there is the sunrise as well. That person through whom in the beginning of the Yajna that supreme soul Shiva himself was giving the clarification of the Sanskrit Gita 
is born again. Shiva Supreme Soul. Shiva Supreme Soul. Or Gita Mata ka jo Chaitanya Swarup. Chaitanya Atma Brahma ki soul hai. And the soul of Brahma, who is the living form, living and sentient soul of the Mother Gita. Usko mastak par dharan karke. Having taken him, it means the soul of Brahma on the forehead. Unke dwara boli hui vani, jise murli kaha jata hai, usse ek ek vaki ka hitche hitche karke samjha. He explains in detail each sentence of the verses spoken through him, which are called murlis. If the words are understood, the construction of the new world will happen. If they are not understood, the construction cannot take place. As it is on the path of the religious devotion, they keep on reciting the Ramayan. They keep on reciting the Gita. The Sikhs keep on reading the Sukhmani. But except for the Supreme Father, Supreme Soul, no one can say what their deep meanings are. When God Himself comes, He explains the essence of the Vedas and the other scriptures. The construction of the Deity Dynasty takes place from that essence. That essence is called the Nectar of the Gita knowledge. This is why, just in this murli, before, it is said that now, which means until 67, we won't call the Gita the nectar of knowledge. Even though the verses narrated by Shiva came out from the mouth of Brahma. However, the form of the essence didn't appear because they were not churned. And unless the form of the essence appears, the seed-like form of the essence of each human soul cannot be created. When that stage of the form of the essence is created, the world of 100% peace and prosperity is established in the mind. Everything in the world is prepared in its small form at first, and later on, it is prepared in its big form. When the establishment of the new world takes place once, then the fall takes place after 5,000 years. It means after a cycle. When it reaches the complete stage once, it lasts for 5,000 years. There is the fall of the devil dynasty after 5,000 years. Till then, the devil dynasty has been growing from the Copper Age. Rise or construction. The rise and the construction of the deity dynasty takes place. 
When there is the sunrise, the rise takes place. They say that first of all, God gave the knowledge of the Gita to, to whom did he give it? To the sun. He gave it to the sun, so there is the sunrise. That sun. Having risen above the world, spreads the light. Through that light of knowledge, the world becomes new. The new world is created from the new light. Together with the fall, destruction must start. The falling down of the world means destruction. Now the destruction of the devil dynasty takes place. Because full 5,000 years have passed again from the rise of the sun. Now the new world is being made. Then the fall will take place after a cycle. It should be written on the very preface so that when someone opens it, they should read that all the devil dynasties are going to fall now. One is the deity dynasty. And all the other religions are devil dynasties. This topic should be written at the very preface. Everything of yours depends on the Gita. What? There is only one Gita on which everything depends. Thanks to one becoming pure, all become pure. She is the mother of the entire world. Who? Srimad Bhagavad Gita. The Srimad Bhagavad Gita. The one who is the mother of the entire world gets broken, adulterated through the devil dynasties at the end of the Iron Age. At this time, the Gita has been completely broken. This is not the question of the non-living Gita. The Gita is a scripture, the highest scripture. The non-living Gita of paper doesn't rule. There is some living soul who rules. No one can rule in a better and more elevated way than her. What kind of scripture is that Gita? How does she rule? She brings about the destruction of all the devil dynasties and establishes the deity dynasty. She becomes the instrument for opening the gate of heaven, the Mother Gita. And the world of hell gets finished. That's why it was said that it is Jagadamba who is worshipped in the form of the World Mother. 
से गीता माता कहो जगदम्बा कहो बाबे वन मई कॉल है द मदर गीता वन मई कॉल है जगदम्बा इट इज द सेम मूर्ति बोला ये ब्रह्मा ही तुम्हारी जगदम्बा है It was said in the murli. Actually, this Brahma is your Jagadamba. This murli was said. At that time, that Brahma was left. Brahma of that time, when this was told in the murli, left the body and went away. Then, how will the Gita Mata's Gate open? How will the Gate of Heaven open? Then, how will the Gate of Heaven open through that Mother Gita? It was said in the Murli. I caused the gate of heaven to be open through the mothers. Brahma ji dwara swarthi gate khulte hain. The gate of heaven is opened through Brahma. Ab Brahma ne arsa chhodna tar mein sharir chhod diya. But Brahma left the body in sixty eight, sixty nine. So kya jhooti baat bolii? Nahi. So did he tell a lie? No. वो गीता जो जगदंबा के रूप में संसार में पूजी जाती है, that गीता is worshipped throughout the world in the form of जगदंबा. उस जगदंबा के रूप का शरीर, that form of the body of जगदंबा. माना जड़ तुम्हें रूप. It means the non-living form. प्राकृतिक रूप जो प्रकृति जड़ तुम्हें ही है, वो पांच सत्तों का पुतला है. The form of nature. Nature is non-living. That is the doll of five elements. जिसे में ब्रह्मा की सोल प्रवेश करती है. In which the soul of Brahma enters. और प्रवेश होकर के वो ही ब्रह्मा जो दारी मुच के रूप में नई पूजा जाता है. मंदिर नहीं बनते, मूर्तियाँ नहीं बनती हैं. And having answered that very Brahma. Who is not worshipped in the form with the moustache and the beard, of whom no temples are made, no images are prepared. Why soul? That very soul. Ose istri chole me pravesh karne ke baad pujniya banja. After entering into that female body, becomes worship worthy. Why jagadamba? But jab tam si roop par pakarti hai. When that Jagadamba assumes her tamsi form, devil dunya ke liye for the devilish world, to sari ya suri sasti ka vinash karne ke liye. She becomes instrumental in the destruction of the entire devilish world. Pehle brahmano ki tarah dunya mein asuri brahmano ka vinash karne ke liye nimitta banegi. Will she become first instrumental in the destruction? Of the devilish Brahmins in the Brahmin world. ये पहले बाहर की दुनिया में निवेश बन जाएगी. Or will she become first instrumental in the outside world? पहले ब्राह्मणों की दुनिया में जो devil है. First of all, the devils in the Brahmin world. चाहे basic knowledge में है, चाहे advanced knowledge में है. Whether they are in the basic knowledge or they are in the advanced knowledge. The seed souls of all the religions are present in the advanced knowledge, aren't they? There are the seed souls of every religion that exists. In the same way, in the basic knowledge, there are the root souls of every religion. वही बीज जो जमीन में बोया जाता है सड़ जाता है जब वृक्ष पूरा होता है बड़ा होता है तो ऊपर जाकर के उद्धार मूर्त बनता है द सीड फॉर्म सोल्स आर द सेम सीड्स व्हिच आर सोल्ड इन द सोइल एंड डिके एंड व्हेन द ट्री ग्रोस अप कंप्लीटली दे गो अपवर्ड्स एंड बिकम द सल्वेशन मेकर्स साथ से ऊपर पहुंचता है इन चीज के It reaches the very top, in the elevated stage. The seed souls are salvation makers. And the roots, those who remain in the foundation, are the support. 
Supposing the roots are cut. तो वृक्ष टिकेगा क्या? Will the tree remain standing? नहीं टिक सकता. It can't remain. क्योंकि वो आधार है, वो आधार चाहिए वृक्ष के लिए. Because that one is the support, and the tree needs the support. और वो है उधार रूप. And those are salvation makers. माने जो भी एडवांस पार्टी है. It means that the whole advanced party. उस एडवांस पार्टी के जो भी भांति है, वो सारे उधार वो पहचान दिया दिए। All the kinds that are in the advanced party, all of them are salvation makers for the entire world. सारी दुनिया को नीचे से लेकर के ऊपर ले जाने वाले, माने उन चीज़ तेज वाले। They take the entire world from the lower stage upwards. That is, they are of the high stage. The one whose stage isn't high can't create the high stage of the others. The one who himself remains as the support. The one who remains as the foundation. वो दूसरों को भी सिखाता है कि थामने वाली बनो। He even teaches the others to become the ones who support or hold. जो भी बेसिक वाली आत्माएं हैं, उनमें जो फर्स्ट क्लास स्वरूप है, चंद्रमंशियों का, वो आधार बनते हैं फर्स्ट क्लास। the Moon Dynasty, the first class from among the souls in the basic knowledge, are the first class support. Those supporting souls become the beads of the garland of victory. The beads of the garland of the victory give support to those seeds. They give durability. If the support shakes, then the seed which is on it will shake as well. This is the support. And on the top of this, there is the one who takes the support. If this shakes, then the one who takes the support will also shake. So the Mother Earth, the World Mother, the Mother Nature, or the Mother of Bharat, Delhi is her central place. The whole world depends on this Delhi. If the transformation of Delhi takes place, then the transformation of the entire world takes place. If Delhi declines, the entire world declines. This Delhi is the only such a city in the world where all the religions have ruled. But that one is the non-living Delhi. There is also some living soul like her. That living soul is the seed of the entire world in the form of the mother. At the end of the Iron Age, the degradation of all the mothers in the world takes place. The mothers in Bharat are particularly degraded. Among them, Jagadamba is the most senior mother. She is called the Mother Gita. The 
by inserting the name of Krishna in it, both the mother and the entire world are degraded. Now the rise of Bharat must take place. The rise of Bharat must take place. The rise of Bharat will take place when the rise of the Mother Gita takes place. And the rise of the Mother Gita takes place when it sits in the intellect of the Mother Gita. Who is the husband, the god of the Gita? Will the husband be corporeal or incorporeal? The Supreme Soul points of light and his children point like souls. The souls are incorporeal. And the father of those souls, points of light, is also incorporeal. The incorporeal father has only this one relationship with the incorporeal souls. When that incorporeal enters into the corporeal, the other relationships are formed. Whether he enters into Brahma or he enters into Prajapita, then a lot of relationships are formed. So it is proved on the basis of the relationships that are formed that the equal parts are required. The relationship can't be lasting if one is incorporeal and the other is corporeal. Now the mother has become corporeal. She has come into the corporeal stage. The corporeal stage means the body conscious stage. And when the stage becomes body conscious, many defects appear. When the stage is incorporeal, then the soul becomes incorporeal without vices and ego. That Jagadamba, the form of the seed of the entire world. Who is the highest beat of the Rudramala among the mothers. When she falls into degradation, all the mothers become degraded. When she is uplifted, all the mothers are uplifted, and along with this, the entire world and all the residents of Bharat are uplifted. Due to the degradation of one, all become degraded, and thanks to one becoming pure, all become pure. Such responsibility is laid on the Gita. And the condition of that Gita has become such that by having said what? That the God of the Gita is Sri Krishna, a child. Would anything be bigger than 
that of making a child into the husband of the mother Gita. There is no sin bigger than this one. The religion to which such souls go and become sinful is called the atheist dharma. The atheism of Russia is the last religion of the world which was established by Lenin and Stalin. Where they don't know who the mother is, who the sister is. From very childhood, just after being born, a child goes to a child care house. Free time for the parents. Go and do your work. When a child grows up, he is sent to a hostel and studies at school. As long as he studies, he stays at the hostel. The parents don't even know where he is and what's going on. This is the responsibility of the government. He didn't receive the motherly love. He didn't receive the fatherly love. Did he receive the adulterated or the unadulterated love? He received the adulterated love. When a child grows up, he is sent to a training school. The training is completed, therefore serve somewhere at work for the country. Now, would those parents who at the age of 16, at the age of 18, gave birth to that child? And those parents are now 30, 32 years old. And the child is 16, 18 years. Would they know who my child is? Will the child know who my mother is? Such atrocities happen. These atrocities will end when it would sit in the intellect that those last religions which came later and were established by the human beings whether it is Brahma through whom the establishment of the Brahmin religion took place, the establishment of the Moon dynasty took place. Whether it is Abraham or Buddha or Christ or Guru Nanak, whichever religious father who established their own religion, all of them became the ones leading them to the ditch of degradation. It is because unless the topic who is the god of the Gita sits accurately in the intellect of Brahma, well-being cannot be there. And if it doesn't sit right in the intellect of Brahma himself, 
who enters into Jagadamba and controls her intellect, then how will the salvation of Jagadamba take place? Brahma is a soul and Jagadamba is a box. She is the non-living doll of five elements. For this reason, it was said in the Murli, the children living with me cannot recognize me. It is because of the intellect. How is it like? The intellect is non-living. So first of all, the complete study should sit in the intellect of Brahma. The essence of this study should sit in it. That Shiv Shankar Bhulenat is the god of the Gita. Krishna is not the god of the Gita. If Krishna were the god of the Gita, then he assumes the position Shivoham. This decline had begun just from the very beginning of the Yajna. That person through whom the clarifications of the Gita were received left. And Brahma, as well as all the souls fostered under the protection of Brahma, the souls of the other religions. Islamic Buddhist Christians, those who for 2,500 years went on getting converted into the other religions. All those souls started to take sustenance under the protection of Brahma. So the souls of the other religions took Brahma under their control. Just like it becomes visible in the today's world. If God forbid the husband leaves the body, the children keep a tight rein on the mother. In this way the foundation was laid. All the Vidharmi children Vidharmi, the souls whose religion remains in the opposition to the father's religion. The souls who get converted into Islam, Buddhism and Christianity. All those souls started to take sustenance in the lap of Brahma. They supported only Brahma. The father didn't receive the support. And for that reason he left. For this reason the tradition was established that a man becomes a sannyasi. What? The mother doesn't become a sannyasi. Why did those seed souls leave? The reason for that was given in the Murlis. That wasn't so much knowledge at that time. And that is why they gave up the Yajna and left. Now the entire knowledge has opened. Now the question of giving up the yajna of knowledge cannot arise. So the degradation of the entire Brahmin family had already started from that very time. 
बात सारी खुल गई नाउ एवरीथिंग हैज ओपन्ड जो भी गीता माता चैतन्य गीता माता द मदर गीता द लिविंग मदर गीता वो भी प्रत्यक्ष हो चुकी हैज बीन ऑलरेडी रिवील्ड और जो ज्ञान की गीता है उसका सार भी प्रत्यक्ष हो गया and the essence of the gita knowledge has been revealed as well to abhi buddhi mein jo bacche hain unki buddhi mein sara madar gita ka aa jana chahiye therefore now the entire topic of the gita should come into the intellect of all the children baap aakar ke sachi gita sunate hain having come the father now reads the true gita ये है सच्ची गीता दिस इज द ट्रू गीता क्या है सच्ची गीता वॉट इज द ट्रू गीता गीता को माता कहा जाता है गीता इज कॉल्ड मादर तो माता चैतन्य होगी या जड़ होगी सो विल द मादर बी लिविंग और नॉन लिविंग चैतन्य होगी शी विल बी लिविंग और उस माता का गीता पति भगवान भी चैतन्य होगा एंड द हजबेंड गॉड ऑफ दैट मादर गीता will be living as well to so, jab tak in maa baap ko nahi pehchana hai so until that mother and father have been recognized tab tak sari shakti ka udhar aur bharat ka udhar nahi ho sakta the salvation of the entire world and the salvation of bharat cannot take place sara madar gita par the entire responsibility is on the gita roz is baat par samjhate hain these topics are explained every day bachche children man mana bhav man mana bhav kya what is it man mana mere man means my mana mane man mein mana means in the mind bhav mana samajha bhav means let it be held mere man ke andar jo gita ka swarup hai the form of the gita which is in my mind tumhare man ke andar bhi wo gita ka swarup samajh aana chahiye That form of the Gita should be held in your mind as well. Gita ko na hai, Gita pati Bhagwan ko na hai. Who is the Gita? Who is the husband, God of the Gita? Ye buddhi mein jab tak nahi baitha hai, until this sits in the intellect. Tab tak ka sirf sankar ko chale hi nahi. One will not be able to have the elevated thoughts. Baap aakar ke sachi Gita sunate hain. Having come, the father narrates the true Gita. और मनुष्यों के द्वारा झूठी गीता सुनाई जाती एंड द ह्यूमन बींग्स नाउ राइट द फॉल्स गीता बाबा रोज इस बात पर समझा बाबा एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट दिस टॉपिक एवरी डे देह सहित देह के सर्व संबंध छोड़ अपन को आत्मा समझ क्या रिनाउंस ऑल द बॉडी रिलेशनशिप अलोंग विद द बॉडी इट सेल्फ एंड कंसिडर योर सेल्फ टू बी ए सोल what bachche ki paidaish hoti hai a child is born to jo paidaish hui hai bachche ki usme sirf deh deh hai is the only a body in the child that is born ye bij bhi hai or is there also a seed atma bhi hai is there also a soul atma bhi hai to dharni mani deh bhi hai mitti bhi hai there is a soul and there is also earth it means a body soil dharni ka se kahan se aata hai where does the part of earth come from mane deh ka se kahan se aata hai it means where does the part of the body come from aur beej kahan se aata hai and where does the seed come from beej baap se aata hai the seed comes from the father aur dharni and the soil mane deh ka se mata se aata hai meaning the part of the body comes from the mother panch tattvon ka ho you may call it the five elements panch tattvon ka putla mata ke pet mein banta hai the doll from the five elements is made in the womb of the mother aur beej usme char panch mahine ke baad pravesh karta hai and the seed enters into it after 4 5 months as it goes ahead it happens like this doesn't it माता का संपन्न रूप तैयार हुआ सन अड़सठ में उनहत्तर में अठारह जनवरी द कम्प्लीट फॉर्म ऑफ द मादर वॉज रेडी इन द ईयर सिक्सटी एट इन सिक्सटी नाइन एटींथ जनवरी उनहत्तर को 
ब्रह्मा ने शरीर छोड़ दिया ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा ने बड़ी माँ माने माँ माँ का संपन्न रूप तैयार हुआ और उन्होंने शरीर छोड़ा इन सिक्सटी नाइन ब्रह्मा लेव द बॉडी ब्रह्मा ब्रह्म मीन्स बिग ग्रेट सीनियर माँ मीन्स मदर द कम्प्लीट फॉर्म ऑफ द मदर वॉज रेडी एंड शी लेव द बॉडी लेकिन उस शरीर छोड़ने से पहले बट इवन बिफोर लिविंग द बॉडी जो बीज बाप है द फादर सीट वो कारण या कारण यज्ञ में आ जाता है कम्स टू द यज्ञ फॉर सम रीजन नजदीक आ जाता है He comes close. उसमें सुप्रीम सोल प्रवेश कर लेता है The supreme soul enters him. लेकिन गुप्त रूप में But in the hidden form. किसी को पता नहीं पड़ता No one knows about it. जैसे गर्भ में बच्चा आता है तो कोई को पता नहीं पड़ता Just like no one knows when a child enters into the womb. सन छत्तर में वो बाप की प्रत्यक्षता वर्ष मनाई गई है The year 76 was celebrated as the year of the revelation of that father. Baap ko pratyaksh hua? The father was revealed. To zarur baap ke saath hi saath wo jadh to mai sharir bhi pratyaksh hota hai. Therefore, that non-living body is certainly revealed together with the father. Jo jagadamba ki roop mein sansar mein pratyaksh hota hai. It gets revealed in the world In the form of Jagadamba. So, देह सहित देह के सब संबंध छोड़ो और अपन को आत्मा समझो. So, renounce all the bodily relationships along with the body itself and consider yourself to be a soul. पहले बीज का परिष्कार करो. First of all, purify the seed. बीज को अपने स्वरूप में टिकाओ. Make the seed be fixed in its own form. देह को प्रियोरिटी नहीं देनी चाहिए द बॉडी शुडेंट बी गिवन प्रायोरिटी देह को प्रियोरिटी जब तक देते रहेंगे एज लॉन्ग एज यू कीप ऑन गिविंग प्रायोरिटी टू द बॉडी तब तक क्या होगा वॉट विल हैपन सुधार देर कैन नॉट बी ग्रोथ इसलिए इतना जोर दे रहे हैं कि अपन को आत्मा समझो और साफ संबंधों को त्याग दो मतलब This is why he is laying so much stress on that you consider yourself to be a soul and renounce all the relationships. It means माता का जो संबंध है जहाँ से ये शरीर बना है the relationship with the mother where this body is made from वो भी बुद्धि में नहीं रहना चाहिए shouldn't remain in the intellect either. सिर्फ बाप और आत्मा उसकी बच्चे Only the father and the children in the form of the soul. ये स्टेज जब बनेगी तब बुद्धि में बैठेगा कि गीता का भगवान कौन और गीता माता कौन. Only when this stage is achieved, the topic who is the god of the Gita and who is the mother Gita will sit in the intellect. इसलिए नारा दिया बच्चों को एक शिवा दूसरे में. This is why the children were giving the slogan. Only one father Shiva, and no one else. Deh ka saara itna pasara hai. The bodily expansion is so big. Kya? What? Dharni. Earth. Jab Diti dynasty thi. When the Diti dynasty was present. To Dharni choti thi ya badi thi? Choti thi. Bharat varsh mein hi sirf devatao par aati thi. Was the land small? Or was it big? It was small. Only in the region of Bharat, there was the kingdom of deities. जब माता पृथ्वी माता का रूप बड़ा होता गया तो आप लोगों से दूसरे दूसरे धर्म आए तो पृथ्वी का रूप बढ़ने लगा. From the Copper Age, when the form of the mother, the form of the mother Earth, went on growing big, when other religions came. The form of Earth began expanding. पहले इस्लामी खंड आए, अफ्रीका, अरब देश वगैरह. In the first place, the land of Islamic religion appeared: Africa, the Arab countries, and so on. उसके बाद क्रिश्चियन धर्म खंड आए, वो भी समुद्र से ऊपर आ गए. After this, the land of Christian religion appeared. It emerged out of the ocean as well. 
पहले जब अधिक चीजें ना इस चीज स्थापन हुई थी तो सारी दुनिया पानी में डूब गई एट फर्स्ट वन द डेट डिनास्टी वॉज एस्टेब्लिश The entire world had submerged into water. जिसको लोगों ने कह दिया परले हो गई. People said about this there was the annihilation, total destruction. ऐसे उतनी परले कभी होती नहीं है जो सारी दुनिया खलास हो जाए. Such annihilation that the entire world would be finished never happens. लेकिन 500-700 500 करोड़ की दुनिया में से सिर्फ चार However, if only four hundred thousand souls out of the world of five seven billions survive, it will be said that is it is almost nothing, isn't it? For this reason, they said that it was annihilation. अभी होती नहीं है इन रियलिटी दिस अर्थ नेवर गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉयड कम्प्लीटली तो पहले पृथ्वी का छोटा रूप सो एट फर्स्ट देर इज द स्मॉल फॉर्म ऑफ द अर्थ फिर दूसरे दूसरे धर्म की आत्मा जैसे जैसे उतरती जाती है पृथ्वी का रूप बड़ा होता जाता है एंड लेटर ऑन एज द सोर्स ऑफ द अदर रिलीजन्स कीप कमिंग डाउन द फॉर्म ऑफ द अर्थ इन ये अमेरिका दिस अमेरिका पांच सौ साल पहले मनुष्य के मस्तिष्क में नहीं था कि अमेरिका नाम का वो कोई महाद्वीप होगा दुनिया फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स एगो पीपल डिडेंट हैव द फेंटेस्ट आइडिया दैट द कॉन्टिनेंट नेम्ड अमेरिका वॉज इन द वर्ल्ड वास्तव में था ही नहीं इन फैक्ट देर वॉज इंट एनी जब क्रिश्चियंस की जनसंख्या ज्यादा बढ़ने लगी When the population of Christians began increasing, it came to the surface from the ocean, and the Christian dynasty spread there. As a Muslim dynasty, the same is in case of the Muslim dynasty, which came out from Islam. Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, whatever, these are Muslim countries, and Iraq, and so on. All these Muslim countries came out from the ocean later on. पहले तो अरब देश आए. The Arab country came first. Last में अभी अभी ये Australia निकला. Australia emerged last of all. महादी. The continent. तीन सौ साल पहले लोगों को पता ही नहीं था. Three hundred years ago, people didn't know that the continent named Australia was on the Earth. So, कहाँ है ये देह का सारा पसारा है? So it was said, all this is the expansion of the body. वो पृथ्वी जैसे देह है. That Earth is like the body. वो जड़ तो मेरी पृथ्वी है. That one is the non-living Earth. और गीता माता चैतन्य पृथ्वी एंड द मदर गीता इज द लिविंग अर्थ ये सारा देह का पसारा है ऑल दिस इज द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द बॉडी आत्मा तो आत्मा ही है द सोल इज जस्ट द सोल उसका पसारा नहीं है इट डजेंट हैव एन एक्सपेंशन हाँ आत्मा का ममत तो देह में लग जाता है बट यस द सोल डेवलप्स अटैचमेंट फॉर द बॉडी तो ममत तो लग जाने से आत्मा अपन को देह समझ बैठती है। Therefore, due to this attachment, the soul considers itself to be the body. नहीं तो आत्मा आत्मा है। Otherwise, the soul is just the soul. देह अलग है, अलग चीज और आत्मा अलग चीज। The body is a separate thing, and the soul is a separate thing. बाप कहते हैं, इस देह के सारे पसारे को भूल कर। The father says. Forget the entire expansion of this body. Adi apan ko atma samjho. Now consider yourself to be a soul. Ye badi galti hai. This is a very big mistake. Ye ki ki aaj se hi ye galti hoti chali aayi. Kya? This mistake has persisted just from the beginning of the yagya. What? Kya se ye galti hui? Who had made this mistake? Jo atma ki sthiti mein. नहीं रह सके उनसे ये गलती शुरुआत 
this mistake was initiated by those who couldn't remain in the soul conscious stage. The Sun Dynasty didn't make such a big mistake. They make a mistake in the very end. When having come in their last birth, they fall down. When they come under the influence of Maya, because there is great expansion of body and the bodily relationships. The expansion of Maya grows so much in the world that the souls of the Sun Dynasty also fall victims to her. So this bodily expansion cast the shadow over the entire world just from the beginning of the Yajna. It cast the shadow over the Brahmin world as well. Except for only the Sun Dynasty, all the Brahmins of nine categories, the Brahmins who convert into nine religions, came under the influence. Under whose influence? Under the influence of the mother. That mother of the beginning of the Yajna left and Brahma took over her position. Dadalekraj, the holder of the title of Brahma, then all came under his influence. Even in the basic knowledge, they repeat again and again only Brahma and Brahma. And what happened? The complete degradation took place. And now, in the Brahmin world as well, except for the souls of the Sun Dynasty, for whom it has been said in the Avyakvani, Bab Dada has given you children the gift of the new world. The children of the Sun Dynasty who lay the foundation of that new world. They are laying the foundation. All the other six souls of the advanced party. Islamic, Buddhist, Christians, and so on. All of them had already been influenced by the expansion of Maya, by the bodily expansion. Now, in the world of the Brahmins, both in the basic knowledge and in the advanced knowledge, they are crying loudly, Mother, Mother. They don't know that the first form of the Mother which will come in front of the world will be that of destruction of the devilish world. Those who cry loudly, Mother, Mother, are the devil communities. Whom does the attainment come from? From the father or from the mother? Yes, the attainment comes from the father. The father has accepted the mother. For what? For assisting him. 
the mother isn't placed above all. The father, the seed, is placed above all. All the children will have to stay fixed in that seed form. Those who won't be able to stay fixed 100% in that seed form in the spiritual stage, they will be compelled to give up this world. Go, go and stay in the supreme abode. This world is to become paradise. The new world is to be created. This Mother Earth, whom the entire world has polluted. The Mother Nature, whom the entire world has polluted. This Mother Gita, whom the entire world has polluted. Those who polluted her, who spread adulteration, won't remain in this world now. They are body conscious souls. They won't take 84 births. Only those who are real seeds will take 84 births. If one looks at things just like this, in the 100% new world which will be made, even the souls who will be born in the form of Radha and Krishna will take 84 births. But even such elevated souls like Krishna will have 50 years less in this world. They will receive the subtle body. Therefore, those whose time became shorter by 50 years are not all rounders. They can't become the hero and heroine actors because they can't play the all round part. So one has to become a complete soul. Having come, the Supreme Soul Father teaches those complete souls. The spiritual father comes and talks with the spiritual children. The father doesn't talk at all with those who don't stay fixed in the spiritual stage and come into body consciousness. Just like it was said in the Murli, I come to talk with you children, and this Brahma listens in the meantime. It means that Brahma hasn't attained the complete seed form either. You children who sit and study face to face with the father make the complete seed stage. Someone may say, What? Didn't Shiva come into Brahma? He used to come into Brahma, but that was the form of the mother. Tuameva mata chapita tuameva. Tuameva mane tu, eka. Tuameva means two, you, one. Wo eka atma hi mata banti hai Brahma ki dwara. That soul alone becomes the mother through Brahma. 
वो एक आत्मा ही राम वाले व्यक्तित्व में अंतिम शरण में सोने में प्रवेश करके पिता बनता है And that soul alone, having entered into the last body of Ram, becomes the father. One receives the inheritance from the father. One doesn't receive the inheritance from the mother. This is why it was said in the Murli. Nothing will be obtained from the worship of Brahma or Christ. There won't be any attainment at all. Keeping this photo of Brahma is also useless. He said in the Murli, didn't he? Why did he say so? It is because the children quickly become attached to the gentle form of the mother. The form of the mother is sweet like what? The child may be the dirtiest, maimed, crippled, blind, leper, thief, dacoit, but the mother doesn't want to win him. It means that the mother doesn't know justice because she is emotionally involved. The mother is corporeal and the father is incorporeal. But that seed form must be there. All these are seeds, number-wise. Some are covered with a thick husk, and some are covered with a thin husk. Some are covered with the husk of the body consciousness of few births. And some are covered with the thick husk of the body consciousness of numerous births. Imagine that the soul of Abraham came 2,500 years ago. He wasn't born from the womb. How was he born? He was born having entered into some root soul. He will be colored by the company of that root soul whom he entered and hence took birth. And he will color that one with his company. It is because Abraham, who comes directly from above, in the beginning of the Copper Age, 2,500 years ago, doesn't have that sanskar of considering unadulteration as something very elevated. The unadulteration of the eyes, the unadulteration of conduct, the unadulteration of the organs. This is something so elevated that paradise is created from it. He doesn't have it in his intellect. It doesn't sit in his intellect at all. So this sanskar feels that one whom he enters. From the copper age itself, that soul starts becoming body conscious. 
the knowledge of the scriptures can't remain in his intellect. Even if it sits in it, it sits in the topsy-turvy form. In which form? The Islamic gathered a lot of images. And having gone there, it means to the Arab countries, they began to worship those images. Therefore, adulteration started from the very beginning. Whereas the Sikh soul taught King Vikramaditya in Bharat that he has to worship only one, that he has to make the temple of only one. So what was the religious devotion like? Was it adulterated or unadulterated? At the beginning of the Copper Age, the foundation of the unadulterated religious devotion was laid. It is in the today's world where they worship numerous male and female deities. The intellect is involved in numerous forms of male and female deities. The intellect has been already disturbed. It has become adulterated. So that soul from the beginning, whom Abraham entered, in the beginning of the Copper Age, became body conscious from the very beginning. And the souls of Ram and Krishna don't become body conscious from the very beginning. Having come into last birth, they get twisted up. So one will have to renounce the body and the bodily relationships. The body is made from the mother. And the spiritual form which enters the body and is born in the form of a child, the soul who does all the work, that spiritual form comes from the father. The father is a seed and the mother is earth. That is why it is said in the Gita. This world, this earth is a mother. In this mother earth, Aham Beach Pradapita, this is one verse from the Gita. I come and sow a seed into this mother earth. Beach Prada. I am the father who sows the seed of knowledge. It happened like this in the beginning of the Yajna. That Supreme Soul, Father, who enters the seat of the entire world, the seat of the human world, the soul of Ram, and sows the seed of knowledge in the form who is like the Mother Earth. Call her Delhi, call her the Mother Earth, 
call her the Mother Gita. The seed of knowledge had not expanded at that time. If there is no expansion, from where will the essence come out? Will the essence come out without expansion? If the tree doesn't grow up fully, if it is not of the age, will the seed be ready in it? Will any fruit be ready? Supposing there is a mango seed. If that mango tree doesn't reach its full expansion, will the seed come out of it? It won't. So, in the beginning of the Yajna, that knowledge didn't get its extensive form. Because it didn't get the extensive form. Those souls who needed knowledge remained incomplete in knowledge. Those souls in the form of the mind and intellect the souls of the Sun dynasty who become 100% complete souls and remain in this world for the longest time didn't receive the food for the soul, the food for the intellect. That is why they broke off. They broke off. For some reasons, they broke off. Then Baba said in the Murli, Ram failed. Ram failed. Ram failed. Does it mean that he failed in the final examination? Final exam to abhi tak bhi nahi hua. Sattar saal ho gaye ye ki ko. The final examination hasn't taken place yet. Seventy years have passed in the yagya. Jo shuru aata exam tha, maasik, tre maasik, usme fail hua. The examination of the beginning is like the monthly, the semester. He failed in that. To ye koi. This is nothing to be held in contempt. This is nothing to be looked at with disdain. Eh, Ram is a failure soul. Who among you is the soul who has passed? Now there is no one who has passed. Where has the final paper come out? Final result has come out. Where did the final result open now? So that soul of Ram, who was a seed in the beginning, that seed becomes hidden, and the tree of the Brahmins grows. Just like when the seed is sowed in earth, does the existence of the seed come to an end or does it last? The seed decays, it lets its existence come to an end. They say, finish off your personality if you want a position. The seed merges itself with earth, it merges with ash. The grains merge with the ash and the flower garden appears. 
जब तक अपनी हस्ती को मिटाया नहीं है एस लॉन्ग एस वन हैज रिमूव हिस एग्जिस्टेंस वो थोड़ा सा था ना अपने पास बचा के रख लिया कहीं बर्बाद न हो जाए ईश्वर की सेवा में ज्यादा नहीं लगा If one has saved a little part of the body and kept it, just in order not to let it get destroyed, not to give more in the godly service. थोड़ा सा धन अपने पास बचा के रख लिया अरे आई वे ले काम आएगा दुनिया में बिना सोने वाला है महंगाई बहुत बढ़ने वाली है तो अभी सारा सेवा में मत लगाओ. One saved a little wealth and kept it. Oh. It might come off use on time. The world is going to get destroyed. The prices will increase a lot. So now, don't give everything in the service. Ishuriya seva me, saara dhan lagane ki zarurat nahi hai. Thoda sa bacha ke. It isn't necessary to invest all the wealth in the godly service. Save a little bit and put it away. To kahin ki pura swaha hua? So will it be said that it is the complete sacrifice? Rakh bana? Did he become ash? Nahi. No, he didn't. Isliye Shankar hai jisko bhoot dikhai jaati hai rakh ki rakh lapete hue. That is why Shankar is the one who is shown smeared with ash. Wo sadhu sant sanyasi kya karte hain? What do those holy men and ascetics do? Rakh lapete lete hain. They get smeared with ash. अब राग लपेटने का आज तो जानते नहीं. But they don't know at all the meaning of smearing ash. राग लपेटने का आज है. The meaning of smearing ash. जो अब तक वाणी में बाबा ने बोला आप देखेंगे. Is what Baba said in the Avyakt Vani. Now we'll see. फोटो में से कोई कितने निकलते हैं और कौन निकलते हैं? How many out of millions emerge and Who are the ones who emerge? Yeah, lakh me se ek. What? One among hundred thousands. Kaun nikalte hain? Who emerges? Or khak banne wali kaun nikalte? And who emerges? Who becomes ash? Khak mana? Ra. Ash means cinders. Apne ko ra kaun banate? Who makes oneself ash? Tan se bhi ra banate, dhan se bhi ra banate. Who will reduce their body into ashes? Who will reduce their wealth into ashes? Man bhi sara, ishuri seva me laga de. Who will involve the entire mind into the godly service? Dusri baaton me kahi man na lage. The mind shouldn't get involved in other things. Sambandhiyon ki taakat bhi sari ishuri seva me lagane ka prayas kar le. One should make effort. To involve the entire power of the relationships into the godly service. जो भी संपर्क में आने वाली आत्माएं, वो जो भी संपर्क में आए, जैसे ऑफिस में बैठे, कोई संपर्क में आया बातचीत करने, उसको भी ज्ञान दे दिया. With whichever soul one makes contact, with whomever one is in contact, just like they are sitting in the office, someone has come to have a chat. And one narrates knowledge to him also. तो संपर्कियों की भी तासारी ताकत, जो भी संपर्क में आने वाली आत्मा है, उनको भी संदेश दे रहे हैं. The entire power of the contacts, one gives the message to everyone with whomever one is in contact. ये सारी ताकत और समय की भी सारी ताकत. The entire power, and the entire power of time. चाहे खाना खा रहे हैं. चाहे शरीर की परवरिश कर रहे हैं दवाई ले रहे हैं तो हर समय श्वास और श्वास बाबा की याद में Whether we are eating, whether we are taking care of the body, taking a medicine, all the time, in every breath, we should be in the remembrance of बाबा तो जैसे खाक बना दिया So it is like having made oneself ash. राख बना दिया It is like having reduced oneself into ash. ऐसी राख बनने वाली जो सारी सच की बीज रूप बाप आत्मा है राम बाप जिसे कहा जाता है वो खाक बन जाता है द फादर द सीट सोल ऑफ द इंसाइय वर्ल्ड द वन हु इज कॉल्ड एज फादर राम बिकम्स आश 
इसलिए ये संगम युग में वो शंकर के नाम रूप से संसार में प्रत्यक्ष होता है That is why, in the Confluence Age, he is revealed in the world under the name and the form of Shankar. This Shankar ki yadgar, saasro me dikhate hai, bahut labete hui. Whose memorial is shown in the scriptures. He is smeared with ash. Raak labete hui. He is smeared with cinders. Raak ki baat nahi hai, lekin practical jivan me apne sarup ko raak bana diya. It is not about cinders, but about that he reduced himself to ash in his real life. Or who akela nahi hota hai? And he is not alone. Usko faro karne wale bhi bache nikalte hai. The children who follow him emerge as well. Wo hai advance party. They are the advanced party. Us advance party mein se jo 108 ratan nikalte hai. The 108 jewels that emerge from among this advanced party. 108 मण के निकलते हैं, वो सब बाप समान बनने वाले हैं नंबर वन. 108 beads emerge, all of them become like the father number wise. इसलिए सारी दुनिया में वो माला. This is why in the entire world that माला. संगठन जिसकी यादगार है, वो संगठन रूपी माला आज दुनिया में स्मरण की जाती है सिमिरण की जाती है विच इज ए मेमोरियल ऑफ द गैदरिंग दैट माला लाइक गैदरिंग इज रिकोलेक्टेड इन द टुडेज वर्ल्ड इट इज रिमेंबर्ड हिंदू भी सिमिरण करते हैं मुसलमान भी सिमिरण करते हैं माला का क्रिश्चियंस भी माला का सिमिरण करते हैं बौद्ध भी सिमिरण करते हैं एक नास्तिक है जो माला का सिमिरण नहीं करते क्यों नहीं करते The Hindus recollect it. The Muslims recollect the mala. The Christians recollect the mala as well, and the Buddhists recollect it as well. Only the atheists don't recollect the mala. Why don't they do it? It is because they had taken the happiness of this world. Till the end. भगवान ने जो नई दुनिया बनाई उसकी उन्होंने परवाह नहीं की. They didn't care about the new world which God had created. नास्तिकों का तो गुणधर्म ही होता है, या? Atheism has its qualities as well. What? यावत जीवे सुखम जीवे, रणम कृप्ता गतम पीवे. जब तक जिंदगी में जियो, सुख पूर्वक जियो, शरीर को खूब सुख दो, या? As long as you live your life, live blissfully, give the body a lot of happiness. What? Or, संसार से कर्जा लेते रहो, और अपना काम चलाते रहो. And keep on taking credit from the world, and keep on doing your work. शरीर छूट जाएगा, सारी दुनिया खराब होगी. When the body leaves, the entire world is over. फिर कुछ नहीं बचा. Then nothing remains. माना वो पुनर्जन्म को बिल्कुल It means that they don't believe in rebirth at all, and in reality, they don't have many rebirths. वो तो आखिरी धर्म है. That is the last religion. सौ वर्ष के अंदर लेनिन स्टालिन आए, उसके बाद वो नास्तिक धर्म स्थापन हुआ. Lenin and Stalin came within last one hundred years, and after that, the atheistic religion was established. तो उनको वो सुख का वर्षा नहीं मिलता जो भगवान आगे भी देते They don't receive that inheritance of happiness which God gives when He comes. वो सुखदाता बाप जो सब धर्मों में गाया हुआ है That Father, the giver of happiness, is praised in all the religions. God Father को सब धर्म वाले मानते हैं The followers of all the religions believe in God the Father. उसको वो नास्तिक नहीं मानते। The atheists don't believe in him। फिर भी बाप की बांधता देखो। Even though look at the greatness of the father। ये जो झाड़ का चित्र बनाया हुआ है, सब धर्म दिखाए हुए हैं, उनमें सबसे नजदीक किसको बैठा है? All the religions are shown in the picture of the tree that has been prepared. Who is seated closest to the father in it? उस नास्तिक बच्चे को बैठा है। That atheist child is seated the closest. 
Why is he seated like this? There must be some reason. There is a proverb. In order to get the work done, one has to make a donkey his father. One has to tolerate kicks of the cow which gives a lot of milk. That child does the greatest work. He becomes an assistant in the destruction of the entire world. On one side, in 36-37, God comes to this world. And on the other side, the father stimulates that child. Prepare the atomic energy. Before that, no one in the world had the faintest idea what kind of thing the atomic energy is. When God came to establish the new world, from that time, this issue starts emerging in the intellect of the souls of the atheist dharm. What kind of weapon for the final destruction of this world should be invented? The first explosion took place in 1942-45 over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They were little bombs of 20 megawatts each. Now such powerful thousand megawatts bombs are prepared that having pressed on the button one can finish this world through them. But God has come. He has come to give all his children the inheritance of liberation and the liberation in life. There are five seven billion human souls. All have to receive that inheritance. Some less, some full. 100%. It will take time to take that inheritance of happiness and peace. Or will the new world be made and destroyed in one blow? It takes 100 years. Other religious fathers come. Having come, they have established their religions within 100 years. No one takes more time than this. Having come on this earth, God also performs a great task within 100 years and then he goes away. He destroys the entire old world, the old religions, the devil religions, and he establishes the deity religion. Someone may say, are all devil religions? Will Brahma be included in this calculation too? Well, 
Brahma was even given the title of a donkey. He was given the title of a child intellect. They make the Ravan's hat, ten hats, whose head is shown on the top of those hats, a head of a donkey. Who is that donkey? That donkey is that one who can't recognize the form of God. Had Brahma recognized the form of God in the beginning of the Yajna, he wouldn't have let him go away from the Yajna. And he wouldn't have supported the children. It happened because of having a donkey-like intellect. Even now the soul of Krishna is receiving so much knowledge and yet he goes and enters into the Guzar Dadi. It is that Kuzar Dadi, that little girl, who was a very attractive little girl in the beginning of the Yajna. Brahma Baba used to call her again and again, and she used to run away. Baba ke paas kabhi aai nahi. Baba usko ati pyar karte the. She had never come close to Baba. Baba used to love her extremely. To antamate so gati ho gayi. It happened antamate so gati. The final destination is according to the final thought. Wo lagao jab sukshm se ne dhaar kiya to wo lagao ko pura karna shuru kar diya. That attachment, when he took on the subtle body, he began to fulfill that attachment. Even now, that attachment hasn't been finished. Right now, he enters into the soul of Ram and takes on the seat form stage. And when that bodily attachment comes, he goes there and enters her again. When will this moon set? When that god of the Gita arises in the intellect of Brahma, the moon, that incomplete moon, will set. The form of the incomplete moon will not remain. The moon will become complete. There is the full moon, isn't it? People of the other religions don't recognize the full moon. Whom do they recognize? They recognize the incomplete moon. Whether Buddhist, or Muslims. What is the form of the moon shown in their flag? The incomplete moon. As long as the moon is incomplete, he is useful for them. When he becomes complete, he will belong to the father. He will remain under the protection of the father. Then he won't listen to them.